In part 6, we are going to continue with the highest common factor and look at a few examples. You will find this on page 10 in the Namibian Mathematics Grade 8 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. So let's start with number A. I'm asking you find the highest common factor of each of the following sets of numbers. 56 and 72. So let's take 56 and break it up into prime factors, the product of its prime factors. So let's start with the first prime number 2. 56 divided by 2 will give me 28. It's ending on an even number, so it's again divisible by 2. So what will be the result? 14. An even number, I can again divide by 2, and that will be give me 7. So take the prime number 7 and continue this division until you find an answer of 1. Do the same with 72. Let's start with 2. 72 divided by 2, that will be 36. If I again divide by 2, that will be 18. Again an even number, divide by 2, and that will be 9. And now continue with the next prime number, and that's 3. And 9 divided by 3 will be 3. 3 divided by 3 will be 1. So take 56 and 72 and write it as the product of their prime numbers in factor form. Now, look if you have columns with the same number. There's a column of 2, a column of another 2, a column of another 2, you don't see 7, you don't see 3. It must appear in both numbers. So I can go and say that the highest common factor will be 2 times 2 times 2. Because there's a column of 2 and another column of 2 and another column of 2. And that will give me an answer of 8. Now, let's try it with index notation. So take 56 and write it in index notation. So it's 2 to the power of 3 times 7. Take 72 and write it in index notation. So that's 2 to the power of 3 times 3 to the power of 2. Now, don't forget this. This is very important. Write down only the bases that occur in both numbers and use the smallest exponent. So, I go back and I look. What bases are in both numbers? It's only the base of 2. So, the highest common factor will be 2. And I write down the smallest index. But in this case, there's only a 3, so I have to write down the 3. And that will give me again 2 times 2 times 2. And that will give me an answer of 8. Exactly the same as I did in with the first method. Let's try number D. First, let's just make space. Okay. Let's do number D. If I asked you to say 2, 9, 4, 0, that's the first number, and the other number is 3, 1, 5, 0, and I take the first prime number and I start the division. 2, 9, 4, 0 divided by 2, that will give me 1, 4, 7, 0. I again, it's ending on a zero, so it can again divide by two. And that will give me seven, three, five. If I add the digits, I get 15. So how do I test to see if something is divisible by three? I add up the digits, and if that answer is divisible by three, like 15, 
then that whole number will be divisible by 3. So 735 divided by 3, and that will give me an answer of 245. So that is 6 plus 5, it's 11, it cannot divide by 3. So let's continue to the next prime number, which is 5. And then I can get an answer of 49. And then continue with the next prime number, which is 7. So 49 divided by 7 is 7. And then go with the 7 until you have an answer of 1. Do the same with this second number. Start with the first prime number 2 because it's ending on a 0. And I will get 1, 5, 7, 5. Let's see if it's, it's not an even number, but let's test if it's divisible by 3. 5 plus 7 is 12, plus 5 is 17, plus 1 is 18. It's divisible by 3. So basically, if I divide 3 into that number, I will get 5, 2, 5. Let's continue with 3. If I take 3 again, I will get 1, 7, 5. But 5, that this will give me 12 plus 1 is 13. 13 is not divisible by 3. So I have to continue to the next prime number, which is 5. And if I divide, I will get 35. Continue with 5, I will get 7. Take 7, divide by 7, and I will get 1. So basically, 2, 9, 4, 0. So if I write it as the product of the prime numbers, and that will be prime factors of 2940. So let's just see, 7, 7. Let's do the same with 3, 1, 5, 0. And that's 2. Okay, now let's just try to concentrate here. Make a 3, and there's another 3. Try to write the same numbers under each other. So that I can see how many columns do I have that's the same. So there's a 3, and there's a 5, and there will be a 7. So I can go and say that the highest common factor will be 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. And if you press that on your calculator, you will get 210. Now, let's try the index notation. If it's 2940, and I write it in index notation, it will be 2 to the power of 2 times 3 times 5 times 7 to the power of 2. Do the same with 3150. So it's 2 times 3 to the power of 2 times 5. 5 to the power of 2 times 7. Okay, let's look at the rule. You write down only the bases that occur in both numbers. So let's look. There's a 2 in both, there's a 3 in both, and there's a 5 in both, as well as a 7 in both. So the highest common factor will be 2. Let's write down the smallest exponent. There's a 2 and a 1, so the smallest is 1. Then a 3, the smallest exponent will be 1. Then a 5, the smallest is 1. And 7, and the smallest is 1. And if you multiply that out, it's exactly the same. You will get 210. So the highest common factor of 2940 and 3150 will be 210.